I'm Mike Gora. Welcome back to my perfect playthrough of Pokemon Red and Blue for the Game Boy. And last time, we uh, level up some, all of our stars. And we nabbed our first badge, the Boulder Badge. And this, and this is proof that I changed the option setting on red. And in blue, because I will wind up for getting to do this in red. I decided to purchase some Pokeballs. And now we are ready to head on and face our first Spud Catcher. Now, getting the Pokeballs now in Pokemon Blue will definitely save a shit ton of time in the next episode. Well, we're in about that one. Basically, rather than because I'm at a high enough level, instead of RNG manipulating the opponent's news, I instead rely more on deductive reasoning. Or figure out what I have to do. Loot misses. That's always annoying. And I did, and I did uh, scout out these three trainers. And so long as I fight these three or four trainers, Bulbasaur will not evolve, at least until Mount Moon. And I'm going to 
tell you straight up, mean and constant red bar pretty much makes it where Bulbasaur doesn't have to be worried about getting outsped at all. And the vine rep to ensure that the attack lands. So as you can see, based on the red bar strats, which completely skips certain animations and sound effects. Just goes straight to the uh, end results. Even through a level up. Too. I was able at 1 HP to just mount an insurmountable But there are now two more. There are two Pokemon I want to catch here. That's not one of them. I do have to catch Pidgey eventually, but, but right now it's not necessary. What I'm looking for is a Spiro and a Jigglypuff, which are the only two encounters here on this route. And I got a Spiro. Level 5. I 
I deposit magic card here. And approve it. The duplication succeeded. I primarily wanted to duplicate the uh, starters, but because I caught a Spiro in Jigglypuff, I figure I could save some time catching another one of the another Spiro or Jigglypuff by just duplicating those as well. Remember, we're trying to form a living deck in red and blue. Generally speaking, I'm not going to try duplicating Pokemon you can easily find in the wild, no matter how rare they may be. I need to go to a bottom floor and cause a long range trainer to walk up to me. Otherwise, I'm gonna soft end up soft walking. Okay, so because in Pokemon Blue, I still need to exit and save my game at the PC. I'm gonna go ahead and catch this Clefairy. That should be good. Fortunately, Red has about as bad RNG luck as it gets. The first Pokemon we should catch on Mount Moon is Clefairy, pure and simple. It's magical and cute appeal as me admires it is rare and found only in certain areas. a demonstration. Alright, then this is mine. That dialogue box is supposed to belong to the super nerd. After you select a fossil. But because we didn't wait for him to do that last time to grab a fossil that's no longer there, we now had to wait for a long range shrink for a rocket to walk up to us and say it for him. Unfortunately, our uh, inputs are frozen, and the only things we can interact with are items, including hidden items. Also, because we already caught a Clefairy, we can now catch the less common pokes available on Mount Doom. So I'm with this Geodude right here. All Blue needs now is the second Clefairy and a Paris. But more ideally, the second Clefairy. Now, 
Now, throughout this episode, Charmander and Squirtle are basically just gonna be me shields. Now look, I got the rare 1% Clefairy encounter on Mount Lake. That's kinda cool. Unfortunately, catching the second Clefairy is kinda of And that's the 
also kind of look at that. Every three to five steps, I get into a random encounter in Pokemon Red. And I know it's not a speed run, but damn. Is there how far ahead I was? I'm surprised I have found an extra trainer. But then again, I think it's more important for Charmander and Squirrel to act as meat shields for some Mandatory. I know that a lot of my strategies in blue have been refined from my first play session through red, but damn. It's the little things like red bar and less encounters that make the less encounters and faster captures that make a huge difference. Constantly running into encounters despite finishing them up in blue, but in red, I'm not even getting a, a second club fairy. Like, how is that even possible? spell style to shift because I will need a swap about Bulbasaur for Charmander in the next battle. Playing 
Mr. Pokemon Blue, I don't really have this bad a problem getting avoided encounters, but Red, it happens all the fucking time. Now, Coffee Near is bulky as hell, and to ensure that Ivysaur can at least finish him off, I'm gonna use a couple of tail whips and some tackles. Reduce Coffee's strength. So I said that Charmander and Squirrel's main functions for now is to act as meat shields. The reason I say this is because I only have one badge and Charmander and Squirrel are technically treated as trade as trade as As such, if I level them up again, they will start disobeying me again. That's a ton of time I do. I'm where I want to be, so... Ah, uh, too late, I already nabbed it. But, something else you notice is that in Pokemon Red, I forgot the second boost. So now there's absolutely no chance in hell Red is going to catch up to the the brakes, I guess. And I went and did one extra tail whip when I probably didn't need to. Strike that two extra tail whips when I didn't need to. And I went with Bubble. the hidden great ball in both rooms, so I didn't miss anything. Blue is about to wrap everything up. Now at this point, I still hadn't realized that, hey, I forgot the second move, so... I'm just concerned about catching the second, uh, Clefairy. But first I'm gonna use the two moonstones I did collect in blue to evolve Clefairy into Clefable, and Jigglypuff into Wigglytuff. But now, now the rain encounters are like, doping out of there. Now that I need to find something specific. Why? Because this game's freaking stupid. That's why. Well, Clef Red finally found its second Clefairy, but I still need to pick up that second Moonstone. Tough. If 
Why is sock and robbery? When angered, it will suck in air and inflate itself to an enormous size. have an identical Pokedex, is my way. The Destiny Pass is so much stronger than the horribly weak descents that exist today. And that's it for Pokemon Blue. All that's left now is some wrap-up time for Red version. Who, of course, is super slow on the uptick because, well, Catch up to blue somehow. Now I get to deposit the two fairies. Identical Pokedex so far, as far as captures go. Start depositing all the same stuff that I did in blue but in different orders because I had no idea what I was to my channel. I really appreciate